Hello everyone, it's your favorite FGC VTuber. Well, controversy tuber to be exact, but anyways, you guys can see from the title. Uh, we're going to be talking about Nintendo. Uh, so it seems that they killed off the Ryujinx, which is a Switch emulator. I mean, so those who don't know to catch up to speed, uh, Nintendo isn't a fan of emulators, especially ROMs. One being fair enough, but they already took down another emulator. I forgot what it was called. Some bullshit. Um, lawyers or whatever. We don't know what the gist is, but they just said, fuck it, I'm going down. And they couldn't get the other one because apparently it was set in Brazil or some bullshit. But the, lo the, the down low is that, yes, you can hear, see from the post that apparently contacted by Nintendo and offered an agreement to stop working on the project. Yada yada, these words my own. And yeah, basically, like, low-key, low-key, again, title maybe or not, Nintendo basically pulled a whole-ass Yakuza move and came up to dude's doorstep and said, like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut you a deal. Either we cut your balls off or, or you, you you quit that the, the emulation shit. We, you know, we, we didn't need no. And, and that, yeah, yeah, no, no. And the thing is, I've said this before, that Nintendo low-key is like just basically a fucking Yakuza in Japan. I mean, they literally shut down a business just because they were like, they would they had a, like a, a cafe or some bullshit or a gaming lounge. Nintendo themed, obviously. They're playing 64 games. All legit. Legal copies. There wasn't any emulation. Nintendo literally sent a cease and desist, the police sent in, shut down, couldn't even really fight it in court kind of sense, or maybe he could have, but yeah, Nintendo literally is a bully, they're just fucking Yakuza as fuck, they're anti-consumer shit, and this is why I'm so happy I don't give them any single fucking money at all anymore, it's like, you're fucking redonkulous, and it's crazy, because it... they don't really compete when, with PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, they're really their own realm, like, everybody knows it's like, there's some little bit of, like, like, I would say, like, basically a good example like octopic traveler like if you want portability i think switch wins in that sense like whether it's a gaming laptop pc and the consoles don't have an option right like it clearly i think has its niche and its appeal even to an average consumer and even within that that console space but outside of that it doesn't really have any real competition and it kind of knows that right it, it has its kid market locked down like a motherfucker including the port portable market those two for sure right and though i do agree they they, they make pretty solid games right and they're exclusive for the most part. And I do like their approach to making games. Um, like I said, they're not all bad. And historically, they've had, you know, eh. You know, and I, and I, I the biggest thing I'm a fan of, obviously, is that uh, they're not super focused on graphics. To a detriment, though. But that's all the good you can say. Outside of that, they're super asshole, really. Just look at what they do with YouTube and everything. But my whole thing is, this is the biggest one. And the fact that you can read into the thing, just how dead ass they pulled some Yakuza ass shit. Like, they, they literally like a gang, right? Like a whole ass fucking gang. And they pulled the most gang move I've ever seen in my fucking life. Like, that's actually just scary, dude. Like, did I just imagine that shit? They're offering an agreement. And the fact that they really came out, I mean, at least they offered something. But, yeah, Nintendo worried about the wrong shit as usual. Yep. Oh, yeah, and of course, it's after talking about they were suing the Power World, motherfuckers. Thanks for bringing that up, random people in chat. Hey, look, you guys want to interact? Send me your post on Twitter below. And yeah, Nintendo killing Yuzu, now they killed Ryujinx. Ah, oh, there we go, thank you. Yuzu was the other one. Oh, like Yuzu, the, the VTuber? Oh, do 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 and, and it's funny, because one of the reasons they complain about the Switch is, oh, pirating, a lot of support. Like, you know, if the email didn't exist, the fact that people can already jailbreak your console is living proof that they could just get it from your own system, which goes to prove that, to me, that the idea and concept, I agree with the philosophy of the Switch the ex or in general right since the gamecube i just don't agree with the execution i think their systems are far too limiting and their hardware and software is absolutely garbage that's my biggest problem really you know just ask any developer and i've said and at the end of the day the fact that people are already jailbreaking it come on now come on but yeah no i mean just they're, they're super anti-consumer and sony's not helping i mean they're turning into the apple of gaming and it's crazy because nintendo was kind of already holding that title so nintendo was like hold up we got to remind people i'm just as shitty as sony the only difference is at least i fucking make games oh but yeah yeah we'll never forget siding with nintendo during yuzu's closure wait who i mean that's morons let's be real nintendo's abuse of power is made even clear i mean yeah just look at all these things feel free to check it out on twitter i don't know what no, that's a good. Thank you for that one, man, brother. Monthly reminder, Nintendo's still a trash company that doesn't sh you shouldn't support. I mean, yeah, that's basically where I'm at, really. Rip Ryujinx and the other Switch emulator. 
I have Yuzu, so I'm kind of okay. It's morally correct. I mean, at this point, see, shit like that is why people pirate Nintendo, honestly. Plus, your lackluster ability to actually preserve it. And that's why I say, like, taking down emulation sites, I that's, like, with it, well within their right. But when I think when it's, like, a conservation one, I think that's different. I think, to me, when a conservation site, the only way it could be fine is if it's just, they just have, like, oh, okay, whatever. But uh, they don't really distribute it. Because if I'm being honest, Nintendo's still good within, I would say, even their N64 catalog. Because they do try. And that's what matters. It, it, what matters is as long as you try. It doesn't go into abandonware until you stop trying, really. Which is a huge fucking shame. Because we all know the fucking copyright, what, is like 50 plus years after the person dies. So it's like, dude, we're fucked. Stupid bullshit. Thanks, Disney, for ruining it. And I think they might have extended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who, what this is. What the hell's... Oh, whatever. I'm on the only Nintendo that... Do they have any other shit crashing on Nintendo? No. Regardless, that's all I really have to put on. I mean, of course, you can also check out AVGN or MVG. That's so many YouTubers. But, yeah, no. Uh, I haven't even watched the shit. Go we'll check out his video. But, yeah, no. Nintendo's just kind of a piece of shit. No, my bad. Kind of. They are a piece of shit. Which is why me personally, I'm super worried about it. Like, I, I ain't trying to own any Nintendo shit or trying to do any crazy shit. You might stop seeing these kinds of videos once I get over to Japan. Because, like, fuck, dude. Like, I am not in the mood to start shit with, like, giant-ass Yakuza. I mean, I'd, I'd argue non Nintendo's a scarier than the actual fucking Yakuza at this point. But, yeah, that's all I got to report for today. Uh, if you guys would like to hear more thoughts and opinions, we're actually going to have the Vivecast right now after this one. About an hour-ish. Uh, 7, 8 p.m. Central or something. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But go check out Vile, uh, who, Honorable, and Mars Thoughts. Maybe Clockwork if he shows up. On this very controversy, we have other things we're going to be talking about. A lot has happened this past uh, days, and we have it right here. We're talking about devs, uh, speaking out against DEI, W, yada yada, booga booga. But yeah, feel free to check us out on the Vivecast below, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And remember, every day is great when you're chippy. Also, fuck Nintendo.